Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. Derek, having pride in something can be a good thing. Right. But then again, having pride in something <laughs> can be a bad thing. Uh, how can our pride uh, negatively affect uh, other others in our lives? Well, the reality is, is, you said it just right, you know, for us to be proud of, say, our children, you know, we're, we're happy that they're doing well, or, you know, you with a youth group, you know, you see a young person uh, do something that's just so great for the cause of Christ, and they're out living their life and representing Him, that's something to be really happy about and, and excited, and in our language, we would say we're proud of them, uh, we want to congratulate them, we want to rejoice with them, but pride, on the other hand, when we use that to glorify ourselves, when it's all about, you know, here is me, look at what I can do, it really can hurt uh, a lot of different things. It can really hurt our influence. Yeah. It can hurt how people see us and how they respond to us. Um, I am reminded uh, in Galatians chapter 6. In Galatians chapter 6, uh, we start off the chapter with, uh, he's talking here to Christians, and he says, Brothers, if anyone is caught in transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watching yourself, lest you, you too be tempted. So here we see this idea that we are to uh, mutually live lives that are uh, in service to God. That we live lives that, that I, I'm a Christian, you're a Christian, we're both trying to live, live this Christian life, but we have some responsibility towards each other to help take care of one another, to help watch out for one another uh, as uh, something that I know you like to focus on with the teens, that uh, iron sharpens iron, you know, that, that kind of mentality, mm -hmm. that we need to have that in our life. Well, if one person's over here and they're acting like, well, I don't have any sin, I don't, I don't ever sin, I don't have any of those problems you have, uh, they're going to have a really hard time influencing that person for good uh, and influence them to maybe come back to the fold. Their influence, when they see a brother that's caught up in some kind of transgression, uh, it's going to be hard for them to persuade or convince them to come back to God. And even more so, if they're the one that's living in sin too. Mm -hmm. If they're living a life full of sin and they're so proud and say, well, I don't have a real problem. Well, they do have a problem because they have a sin problem. Not only do they have the sin that they might be committing openly and actively, they have a pride problem. Uh, to say you um, to say you had no sin, uh, the scripture says you are a liar. Uh, and so we don't want to be a liar. We want to say, hey, you know what? I sin too. Uh, and that helps increase our influence towards one another. You see, this idea we see in verse 2 is that as Christians, we're to be people that are going to bear each other's burdens. And so, so that implies that, you know, that I am willing to help my fellow Christians as they struggle, uh, no matter that's physical struggles, spiritual struggles, you know, I'm there for them in their time of need. I also think it within this, that if we're able to bear other people's burdens, that, well, that would mean that I'm willing to bear your burdens and mm -hmm. you're willing to bear mine. Um, well, the only way that you know the burdens that I have and the only way that you, that I know the burdens you have is that we have the kind of relationship where we share those burdens with one another and that we help each other, which means we have to know each other. We have to communicate with each other. We have to be around each other. Uh, and that is why the church family is so important. If we decide to throw away our influence because of our pride and because of our arrogance, we're not just hurting ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're hurting our brothers and sisters in Christ. We're hurting those that are lost in the world and that have never even known Christ. Um, and so we're really destroying our influence. Verse 3 says, For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not his neighbor. For each one will have to bear his own load. The reality is, is we all have a load to bear. Mm -hmm. We all have something that we have to do in life. That also implies we also have obstacles we're going to face. We're going to have sin problems. Your sin issues and my sin issues might be completely different, but that doesn't take away the fact that you have burdens, I have burdens, we all have burdens. And so I don't boast and say, well, look at me, I am the greatest. Yeah. I don't boast and say, you know, I'm over here and I'm sinless because I'm not. Um, Paul, you know, when we look into scripture, he was one of those spiritual giants, and yet he considered himself to be the least of the apostles. Uh, and I think part of that had to do with his reflection upon his previous life, that he looked and he saw, I let, he led Christians to their death. Uh, and he knew the kind of person he was. He knew that he continued to have struggles and he continued to have problems uh, that he needed help with. And so 
he, in a humble way, he humbled himself before fellow, fellow Christians. Humility is the way of a Christian. Uh, pride is not. Now, we can be, uh, we can be uh, you know, boasting in the cause of Christ, you know, that, that we are, I mean, there in Galatians chapter 6, we see that, that if we're going to be proud and boastful about anything, is the fact that Jesus Christ, that he died for on the cross for our sins, that brings us joy, that gives us purpose, that gives the whole world hope if they would just come to him. And so I would say for us today, we need to be people that are not so caught up in pride and not so caught up in ourselves and let people, what they see in us, let, that, let them see Christ. Because mm. they can see Christ living in us, then maybe they too will come to the knowledge of him.